welcome to my channel. Well, um, this one is for Gary of The Last Rangers. And if you don't know about him, he does a lot for the community. Um, for one thing, he pushes a lot of people that are under 1,000 uh, to help get them over. And uh, there for a while he was designing uh, stickers for a lot of people. But I think he got burnt on that and pretty much doesn't do that anymore. But one of the things he did, he's in the hospital and uh, he's still in the hospital uh, from what I understand. And anybody has ever spent any time in a hospital knows how boring it can get. And even though he's going through a lot, he did a video of um, the three knives that he's carried in the last uh, quarter, last three months. And uh, a lot of people have done an open tag on that just to give Gary something to watch. So I thought I'd participate on that one. And uh, my three knives are sitting right here. And I'll, I'll explain about them. This, of course, is the SE3. I love this knife. It's a really great flex, fixed blade. I um, carry it cross draw. The handle doesn't stick out too much. That's a problem when you carry cross draw, depending on your body size. I mean, if you've got a big body, it'll it'll uh, mold to your body and everything. But if you're a thinner person, this is going to stick out a little bit. But if you wear a t-shirt, you know, outside and everything, it's not that noticeable, and it's still accessible. Um, I wore this for over a month straight, and uh, it really is convenient. I mean, you don't have to worry about open and then deploy. You just pull it out, and it's ready to go. It's ready to cut. And I really like SE, SE knives, but this is the one that I carry the most because it's you know more compact than the 5 or the uh, 6. Those are a little bit bigger. All right. The Case Mini Trapper with the Warncliffe blade. Now, a lot of people don't like Warncliffe blades, and hey, that's fine. I love them, you know. I love a Warncliffe blade. I love the shape. I love the looks. I love uh, everything about it. And it also has a standard clip point blade on it, too. I never thought I would like a mini type size knife. I tend to like the larger ones and everything, but this just fits in the pocket so well, and it's just, um, it's just a fantastic looking knife, too. I love this thing. All right, and you can thank my knife channel to Jolly Peanut, because Jolly Peanut is the one that got me into starting to buy. This is what started the whole avalanche of me getting more and more knives and really getting into buying a lot more knives. I watched uh, Jolly Peanut was into Locksport and guns and stuff before. And at the time, I was in Locksport, but I was getting burnt out on it. And I, I was watching his channel, and he started talking about knives. And he said, he'll talk about anything he wants on his channel. And I thought, you know what? I don't want to... I don't want to convert my Locksport channel into a knife channel. Why don't I just make a separate knife channel? And that's what I did. But this is the first knife that I bought, the Cold Steel Recon 1 Spear Point. And when I first got it, I didn't do the modification to the triad lock. So... Releasing this was a smash down. You really had to smash down and leave a huge dent in your finger. And uh, that made me not like this knife as much because it was so hard to, uh, to close. I mean, it was a pain in the butt. And yeah, it may make it super strong and everything, but once I weakened the triad lock on there, it made it a little bit better. Now I use this thing. I carry this thing more. And I started carrying it recently just to uh, give some rotation to the knives that I've got because my favorite 
EDC knife to carry is the uh, Civivi Elementum. And I carry it so much, I needed to to rotate a little bit, so I decided to throw this guy back in just to kind of remind me um, this is what started it all. So there you go. That's that's the three that I've carried the most in the last three months. And uh, if you can go over and watch some of Gary's videos and give him a thumbs up and subscribe to him and stuff like that. Uh, any encouragement and on his video comment and stuff like that because really he's helped out the knife community a lot and this is kind of our way to help him back so thank you for watching and have a nice day